Hey guys, welcome back to The Game We're Playing. I'm Dave the Usher. The game we're playing is Lufia 2, Rise of the Sinistrals for the SNES. And this game is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. And yeah, that miracle spell uh, item did work on Selen. She's all better now. This guy isn't a cakewalk, man, let me tell you. You know, I find these monsters, this groupy thing, is harder than, uh, Idora himself. <laughs> yeah, you missed one hit I had on, uh, on Adora off the clock. But just one hit, no biggie. That's why I went down pretty much immediately. Oh, my baby Jeros, it's okay now. Iris, good to see you again, Maxim. I began my journey as you told me. I met many people in many places, and I met Selen. I defeated Gatus and brought peace to the world. You didn't mean that I was to fight Gatus. Exactly, but your fate has changed. What do you mean? If you had died when you defeated when you defeated Gates, peace would have returned to the world. But you married Selen and left a descendant. You were supposed to die in that tower, but I, I what? Intervened, fucked everything up. Uh oh. The flow of time is changing. Even I cannot see the future anymore. I can tell you, it's time for you to go. To protect your loved ones, you must fight again. Are you saying there is an enemy stronger than Gatus? If in fact you have the power to change fate, you will one day know the truth. How the hell do you know all this? Who is that woman? Maxim. Selen, is Jeros alright? Yes? Hmm. You're going, aren't you, Maxim? I must go to protect you and Jeros. I'm going with you. No, you can't. You must stay with our son. If I were just an ordinary mother, I could wait with Jeros for you to come back. But I am different. I know how to fight. I want to protect you. I want to fight to protect Jeros. Ah. You may not be able to see Jeros again once you go on. If we can't defeat the enemy, this world will end sooner or later anyway. But... But what? I will come back to Jeros and lead a quiet life with you and Jeros in a world at peace. I knew I couldn't stop you. Okay, the first thing we should do is track down a door. Before that, let's go back to Parslite. We can't take Jeros with us. Alright. Scene change. Auntie, please look after my Jeros for me. Don't worry about Jeros, but Selen, why, why do you have to fight? My only hope was for you to have the ordinary happiness of a mother, you know. Auntie, I am happy. I fight for the people I truly love. What mother can do this? I guess that's another way to look at it. In any case, I'll take care of Jeros just fine. Thank you, I'm counting on you. Selen, you have to come back to Jeros. Jeros needs you. I know, I know, Annie. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> hey, guys! The light from the lighthouse went north toward the port town of Aelin. I believe you can get to Aelin through small shrine east of Bound Kingdom. You're going far away again. It's going to be awful lonesome without you. It looks like we know our next destination. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Thanks for the tips, everybody. <laughs> Don't make it obvious or anything. Should we talk to the king at Parcelate? I don't know why I'm doing this. Let's make it fast. I heard a door across the, the ocean to Aelin. Go through the small shrine east of Bound Kingdom. So wait, a door is still alive, huh? Yeah, that's right, bitch. What about you? You want to come with me? What the hell does that guy ever do? Fucking useless. 
Okay, so let's warp to Bound Kingdom. Damn it. Here's the shrine. Alright, let's go. Holy hell! Hey, Maxim. Hey, where are you two going? Guy, Decker. Were you just going to go off without saying anything to us? I thought we were a team. Did you really think we wouldn't notice an enemy bigger than Gates making a move? Let me tell you, I'm not going for you. I'm going because there's someone I have to protect, too. Yeah, I heard you still haven't married that someone you must protect. Talk about slow. Ha! Huh. What do you know about love, anyway? You don't even have a girlfriend. Hey, my love is my sword. If you ask me, you should stay away from thoughts like that. Anyhow, I'm going no matter what you say, Maxim. I know you two will do what you have to do, no matter what I say. That's right. Well, shall we then? Alright! My bros are back. My bros. That's awesome. Run away. So it looks like the whole gang is back again. Wait a minute. I think someone's missing. Someone's missing. Who is it? I wonder what T is doing. Let's go to Elson. Hey, remember this place? Oh yeah, man, your words. Oh man, these guys say the same thing. Uh-huh. Where's Tia? she in the shop? Huh. Where the hell's Tia? <laughs> Seriously, where is she? Tia, hello? I think she ran away and joined some brothel or something. Where did she go? Will we ever see her again? Well, we'll have to find out. Wait and see. Okay, anyway. No, no, you don't know any magic. Let's warp back to, uh, Aelin. Hello. You know what this reminds me of? Trek from Lufia 1. A weird guy came out of nowhere and sank all the ships. I just couldn't believe my eyes. This is home port. The ships headed east to the Ar to the Ustark continent. Without ships, no one can cross. But when Jade returns from the North Mountain, he can make a ship in no time. He's a genius. Thanks for that uh, rundown of info. Uh, Grubrick. Gru 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 what the fuck is up with these names? Grubrick's on a small island north of here. I hear the mysterious ancient cave is there. Oh, the ancient cave. They say the cave holds countless treasures, of course. Who knows if it'll be true. John can make great ships, but he's on the North Mountain right now. Where is he when you need him? Look at all these guys. I guess we can't reach a Stark continent until John makes a new ship. Oh no! I just bought that ship. I don't know what to do. You know, these hats don't look like sailor hats, really. Eh, I guess from the front view. Hey, look, a pub. Greetings. Please relax and enjoy. Business is slow because people on the Ustar continent can't reach us. What was it you wanted? Nope. If you have a problem with your ship, Jod's your man, but he's on the North Mountain again. There are tons of good trees for ships, but many monsters too. Jod's not a warrior. I hope he's okay. It's nice to have slow days, but not all the time like this. More people? 
As Jad goes into the mountains, he stays forever. Does he prefer ships to me? I hope he won't push himself too far. He's a great shipmaker, but he's no warrior. Oh, this man is very handsome. I love that red hair. Wow. Okay, did I talk to everybody? Is that everybody? What about you? The man who sank all the ships looked really evil, as if he was showing off. Hmm. Oh no, one more! My, my ship's been sunk too! What did I do anyway? Oh man, another person? The destroyer of ships headed east for the Ustar continent. But why did he destroy them? Ha ha ha! I did it! Alright guys, I want to thank you all for watching. I'm Dave the Usher for the Gamer Play. Stay tuned for the next part of Lufia 2. I am out.